what's up people um today we are gonna do something kind of cool okay so basically these uh i just found out my radio works okay that's the first step of this video i gotta show you my radio works Copyrighted music. Okay, <laughs> so just found out my radio is, um, it works. So I bought a little radio adapter and I didn't know these things existed. I mean, I kind of had a feeling they had something like this, but I didn't know it was like this, this. So I'm just making a little video. It's probably not going to be too long, but I just want to show everybody that what you can do. I also bought these uh, cigarette lighter adapters, which I also didn't know existed. So, for me, example... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got a fucking penny in my cigarette lighter. That's not good. Okay, so a uh, penny was in my cigarette lighter, and it blew a fuse. And I didn't know they blew that fast. So, new fuse. There we go. Okay, now my cigarette lighter hopefully will work. If it doesn't... Then I'm going to cry. But the old, I threw it away. I should have shown you guys. But it was burnt out, so I think I got the right one. Okay, let's just plug it in, see what happens. Yep, there you go. Much better. All right. So, back to what I was saying. There's my little cigarette adapter. Okay, so I got two cigarette adapters, and I'll leave them both linked in the description. I just learned that I should be linking my uh, products in the description so you guys can get them. That's my bad. But, um, so here is my main one. And there you go, you can see it. It's pushing 13.2 amps, so, so that's good. And then, uh, there's another one that I got. And that one's gonna be, like, my main one, because that one is, like, it's not pushing too crazy a power, but it's still pushing. It, it's good. So then we take it out. And then we put this bad puppy in there. So if anybody wants to charge their phone or anything, I just hand it back to them. Because it's like, a, it's wired. There's a little cord for it. So that's going to be my little, uh, if I have buddies in the car type thing. So I'm going to shove that back in there. There's my tuner for the Ranger. I'm not running the Ranger right now, so I don't have it in there. Okay, and so we do that. And then we put my CB back in. That's for sure we're going to do that. Look at that. My CB is on. That's why I did it, because I only have one, and I needed my, one for my CB. And then we put one in there. Look at that. That's what my thing will look like. Yeah, and then they got um, these cool little um, buttons right here, and that turns off everything. See, CB doesn't does not turn on. This isn't on, and then I press these two buttons, and it's back on, just like that. So we're going to test this out. I don't really know how it works. Um, here, let me try and connect my Bluetooth. Okay, so my phone is connected. You can see if it will focus. Uh, Galaxy A20, since it's kind of dusty. Um, there you go. So that's what my little radio adapter looks like. Well, and then this this is the aux core right on the side right there. And then you can plug it in your phone, and ta-da, you got an aux cord. So that's cool. Um, we're going to turn my truck on and see if it works. And they all have these little, uh, like, phone connectors. So I think this is, like, a really handy thing. I mean, it's super nice. So, one second. All right, everybody. So here is, uh, it, it's working. It's all hooked up and everything. And I realized I didn't put on a song and I should have so it's kind of weird to connect you got to kind of scroll through but I learned uh, I kind of looked up there and uh, FM 93.7 so I went to FM FM I, I have only FM 2 on 93.7 but I went to that and it's um and that's what's connected so and that and that's and it's now connected and everything because it also connected to FM 10 7.3 or something like that but it was super staticky and it was just terrible so but this isn't bad anymore so this is good and i realize uh i'm just going to show you this quick if you don't want to listen to your bluetooth or you have no more good songs and you're like what's on the radio you can just do this did i press the right one 
and then, see, you can hear it. It's a little staticky. I gotta scan it, but I'm not going to, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect my phone and everything. There we go. And I tell you it's paired and everything. But I'm not going to listen to radio music right now, obviously. So uh, let's turn on some music. But yeah, if you ever want to listen to the radio, you can still just press the button and it will turn off. Or if you don't have one of these, then you just yank it out of the cigarette lighter. And here we go. It's actually playing music. No really bad static. This is good. Popping off. Another radio video on the channel. This time it's not a whole new radio. It's just a radio adapter. So, yeah. But there you go. Um, that was... Uh, that's my little radio adapter and thingy. The, uh, the uh, thing is not plugged in. Oh, maybe it's turned off. There we go. See, and now my CB works and my radio adapter. Yeah. Tiny Meat Gang. If you don't know who they are, go check them out. They're funny dudes and they make good music. So I got to shout them out. I don't want to get copyrighted. I probably still will be. But there you go, guys. Uh, there's my radio adapter. And... That's all this video is. I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to buy a whole new radio. I actually did for the Ranger. The Ranger actually needed a whole new radio because there was already a new Pioneer radio in there. But it was like a piece of shit and it didn't work. So I needed another new radio. So yeah, but this is my uh, little radio video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. And um, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, hit that like button. And uh, subscribe if you didn't know this was a thing. And if you did know, hit that subscribe button still. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Now we need subs!